I think what excites me the most about Jetstream is it's bringing supercomputing to the masses. It's like a big easy button for getting on to high performance computing for a whole set of graduate students and faculty who have graduated to the need for supercomputing but have never wanted to tackle all the complexity of moving on to the big iron. Jetstream represents just one more step in IU's evolving role with many partners across the nation to provide the cyber infrastructure that bridges needs on campus to the needs across many disciplines and collaborations. What we're really going to try to do with Jetstream is deliver a cloud-based system that provides researchers and research students throughout the U.S. access to computing cycles that they need now, whenever now is. It's going to be uh, centered around the concept of providing a menu of virtual machines that will be created by software developers and by people in the Jetstream team. So if you're doing a particular type of uh, analysis of, of DNA sequences or if you're looking at uh, a particular uh, type of formation in rocks or in uh, ice sheets, or if you want to look at a geographic information uh, service database, you'll be able to call up a virtual machine that's specialized to do the type of analysis you want and run that analysis interactively and do it now. Now is what Jetstream is all about. Uh, we will try to run it like a traditional cloud facility. It will be geographically distributed with one half of the production computing facility located in Bloomington, Indiana at Indiana University. The other half located in Austin, Texas, at the University of Texas at Austin, Texas Advanced Computing Center. So we will come very, very close to having the system up 7 by 24, 365 days a year. Researchers are going to benefit from Jetstream because it's going to have a highly usable interface. Um, it's a web-based application backed by cloud computing, and you'll be able to log into the system choose a virtual machine image that has the software that you need and the environment that you need, launch that virtual machine, and be up and productive analyzing your data and interpreting your data in just a matter of minutes. And this is somewhat unprecedented.